be a token for you. But it doesn't. If it's, it doesn't have that on my token though. I, I copied your tokens and then changed it. It should oh, okay. be good. You copied it. I haven't looked at the copied one. I have copied the token. You do not need to copy your tokens. You have your tokens. Right. Oh man, let's look. Look at this high tech shit right here. Holy crap! Yeah, Hello, like everybody. Stuff. What, what, Recording what? has started. We are live on the internet. We With are indeed. Tiamat. Do you want to say something, sheep, on the first session? Uh, h hello, mom. <laughs> I, I'm I'm famous now, but I think you should start, like with things and stuff. So let me set the scene for you. Uh. Uh, yes, you may kind of move in your cages if you so desire. But that said. It has been quite a while since any of you have been able to think clearly. The past few months have been a blur, really, with vague memories of indignified treatment and worse. You find yourselves in a cage, hungry and in the dark. There is some light coming from a heavy set of doors to the north, and flickers of torchlight, as well as murmurs of conversation coming from the southwest. From the heavy set of doors to the north, you can hear an occasional loud voice barking a command, followed by the crack of a whip followed by an animal's pained whine. In the basement with you, in cages as well, are two large ape creatures, as well as some sort of lumbering lizard that you can just barely make out in the distance. And, of course, three other creatures that are very much like yourself in a very similar situation. Has the um, the fog of our mind, so to speak, has it like cleared quickly, and or suddenly, or has it? Uh, over well, some time, not instantly, but slowly and steadily, you have suddenly been able to make out and form coherent uh, coherent thoughts. Probably over the uh, over the course of hours, really. Mm -hmm. Although it did feel like it has been a slow process that just now kind of finished. All right. For you, it is pretty much impossible to tell the time of day, the date, how long you've been here. Vague memories are really all that you've got from pliers to needles and other things that you don't really want to think about anymore. And now you have the chance to see what's around you and what? who's around you. Well, has there been something in here? That cage is completely empty and rather more clean than yours are. <laughs> well, <clears throat> Tilraxos will look around. He swivels his little head around, checking the cages next to him. He sees Ina. Okay, uh, gives him a polite nod when he looks at him, looking sneakily around. <laughs> Tilraxos blinks as if he's, you know, he's. Dizzy or some some such, and he he looks at Rashiax and says, "I, I, I remember you. Yes." Mm -hmm. He sort of blinks a little bit. The um, that uh, that man, that wizard. He puts up like one of his uh, small little claws and sort of rubs at his the side of his head. It made something. It did something to me. Hard to think, but it seems to be letting go. Guy looks as he's at his food plate. Is he feeling hungry? It's a long time since we've eaten. You are basically starving. We have not had food. I think it is in the food. She sniffs around. Looks to the one next to him. He's just trying to be very quiet. Our Vornix next to you is not saying much right now, just hastily looking looking around the area. <laughs> Seemingly jumpy at almost every noise. So Rexus looks around, looks down at Dynavox. She looks really sad. <laughs> I am the Tilraxos. 
Am I in a box? Who knows? I need more space. Yes. He looks up to north, basically. Okay, X is currently sort of trying to prod the the lock or whatever there is like of a of the sort of a closing mechanism. The lock is, it with his little claw. The lock is indeed quite sturdy. It warps weirdly when he touches it. It warps far less than you would anticipate. Little dragon frown. <laughs> Looks down to his I am a Rakaiax. Terraxos nods. I do not recognize your the call of your scales, Rakaiax. Stantis, I have been here for quite a while, I should think. He rubs his head again. It is difficult to remember. Apologies. It is a... Do you see a way to get out of your cage? Mine seems to be protected against my uh, attempts. Uh, Tilrex also looks at his uh, at the door, at the, the gate, or whatever, to the cage. You around you, you see well, thick iron bars that seem to be specifically made to well have rather dangerous criminals or creatures in them. The door is equally sturdy, and the lock does not seem like something that would just fall off if you looked at it funny. Shyax uh, snorts a little bit, and uh, you see he he walks up, opens his his jaws wide, and you see they're quite powerful, actually, as he chomps down on the lock and trying to basically break it open with a mighty bite. You can make an attack roll if you want. I would like to make a strength check, actually. A strength check? Sure, go for it. As uh, Trilaxos, you know, strains his little body to uh, to try to get at the at the lock. No, you don't manage to do much apart from causing a bunch of noise. He lets go of it, S snaps his jaws. It is sturdy. Is there anything from stopping us from using, for example? Um, acid. You can try. Oh. Um, okay, I Inovax looks at the... Is there a difference in strength from these and these? They are identical. She's gonna try and spit on the lock. Alright. The iron bars seem entirely unimpressed by your acid. The floor, however, shows some signs that your acid is indeed acid, but the actual bars that keep you in here do not. Well, someone has to clean that. Okay, excuses. It seems that these places are protected against whatever we could muster. I can see two guards. Which one just what? I see nothing. Jeep points it's around. Those, I think, are, are monkey creatures. Over there. She points this, this way over here. One of the guards does actually seem to be looking in your direction, frowning a bit. Of course, you don't think he can actually see you because you are sitting in total darkness. Also, on that note, I would like to point out the problem with the lightning system. This whole area here is completely dark. Okay. So I couldn't this, see them. Oh, wait. You, there's you, a... you have dark vision. You can see them. Also, oh, yeah. they, are, they are standing below a torch. This small strip here... That is dim light coming from the northern doors that have slight cracks in them. Oh. Over here, this area is also dim light coming from a torch, you would assume, on the far side. Mm -hmm. And the area behind that is actually bright light. As you can see, it has the same shading as the dark area. Yeah, that's going to be but, confusing. But this is a little darker. Yeah, this dim this is dim light. This is dark. <laughs> this is bright. Okay, so, so there is dim light. Yes. Effects. Okay. It doesn't really bother you too much because you can see perfectly in, in you know, dark vision. 
but you can see further if you have a light source there. Hence why you can see the guards. How tall is the cage? The cages go all the way to the ceiling, which is not very high. Aww. How high is the ceiling? Uh, about enough that a normal-sized human could stand in here without too much trouble, but not far higher. So, seven feet? Eight feet? Uh, yeah, around there, I would say. Hmm. How about the wall behind us? That is solid stone. But you said the acid reacted on the stone? It showed minor marks, but digging your way through stone with your acid is going to take, well, an indeterminate amount of time. T-Rex well, snorts. Maybe we're going to stay in here for an indeterminate time. <laughs> T-Rex snorts and looks around. It seems that whatever the wizard did is wearing off. This, this might be our chance to get out. I, for one, do not... I do not enjoy his hospitality over much. He's, he stole my father's books. Spits on the wall. <laughs> you do know you only have a certain amount of those a day, right? I mean, for, for roleplay purposes, it's fine. Sure. But it's... Mm -hmm. You know, digging through the wall with your breath weapon. Not you right. know, you can try, but bring a lot of time for that. You do notice that the guards standing, well, in this torchlight over here, oh, are starting to, to kind of creep over your direction, kind of frowning into the, what you think is just darkness for them, murmuring between them. Tyrexus hisses towards the others. The guards seem to be noticing us. Perhaps if we can lure them over, we can steal the keys. Excuse me! <laughs> I know what says in common. <laughs> the, the, the murmuring stops for a moment. I'm in need of assistance! Tell them that we are, we are dead or something. <laughs> the prized possessions are dead on the floor, you need to open! It seems the blue one is rotting! <laughs> T-Rex just blinks for a second and then he sags to the ground. And like his tongue, tongue lolls out like... <laughs> I think a bluff check would be appropriate here. Uh, <laughs> damn it! I'm not from good who? at this. Is it from, is it from well, our own? Uh, it, it would be a, a bluff check from Einavox, I think. Uh, I don't remember if I'm even charismatic. Not really! Go for it anyway. <laughs> you say it's rotting. Yes! Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty damn good. <laughs> The, the murmuring of, of the guards starts up again as they take some <laughs> steps towards you. Our Volnix is now like climbed on the side of this cage's wall, looking at through it like, is he dead? You can't tell. Tilraxos is laying down on the side with it. Yeah, he's like, oh. Yeah. One of the guards does something. kind of is thought. laying down as well. You know, he doesn't want to seem like he's sort of with mesh guards, right mind. Uh, when Anna Fox thinks about it, but the guards know that she could, that she speak common. I mean, they certainly now know that you've said something to them. But may maybe they didn't know that it was her. I mean, someone certainly did. Yeah, but and they do seem to realize that it likely came from here. They are probably not entirely sure who of you four spoke, but they certainly know something. And the box just looks, looks at them. And the guards oh, stop. And then, then, then she looks at the blue one and, and hisses. The guards stop a respectable distance away from your cages. One of them saying to the other, I've never quite seen them so agitated. Not even when you did the thing with the pliers. Quite gruesome, that was, I have to say. You motherfucker. Uh, look at this. We, we are hungry. There is no food. Can you speak common? Yeah. Oh, the blue one looks like he's dying. You must bring us something to eat, or, or your master, the master will surely be angry. 
I'll try to. At least give him some water. Talk them into coming over and giving us some sort of food. The guard on the right again just goes, I know your tricks, split-tongued lizards. <laughs> you oh. need to shut up or I'll get the spear. Of course you haven't had anything to eat for a few days, but that shouldn't bother you, you beasts. You can take a lot more if that's needed. Just but another two or three days and there should be more food Look for at you. him, the flies are gathering. I can see from here that he's just playing. The other guard on the other side says, maybe we should at least make sure that, you know, he's really fine. It would be rather embarrassing if... I, I know what starts. Cousin, please open your eyes. <laughs> Tyraxus does not. Look at him! Do you know how much we are worth? And do you know how much sorrow I have from hearing this one talk over here? Give me some of that stuff we've been getting. <laughs> the guard on the right sighs. Well, if we had more of that stuff to shut you up, we would give you more, of course. What, what if now, we all... stop speaking, beast. That is not in your place. Just... You are not a... You know, you're just cattle. So do as cattle does and shut up. What, what if we all back away and you just help the blue? My cousin, please. We will all back away. I would suggest a diplomacy check. I, I wish I was pretty or more charismatic. Uh, diplomacy. You need to get out of Zoe mode, you know? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> That's Zoe not too mode. bad. 13 is not too bad. Mm -hmm. the, the, the guard frowns, not entirely convinced. But it does seem like the, the guard on the left is very much for at least checking up on you. The two guards talk for a at bit between each other. Please push the blue one over here so I can sate my hunger. There's no reason that more than one of us should die. No, not my cousin. You leave him alone. Even if he's dead, Pyle is going to want his buddy. Touch it and you will end up like him. Claw and beginning to pull Tilraxa sort of through the bars closer to him, licking his, his, his mouth. The, the guard on the left talks to the guard on the right again. We should at least check. I mean, I mean, even if they are just, you know, lizards, as you put it, surely they, they just want to... He shrugs. The guard on the right sighs, shoulders sagging, frowns. We, we will stand back. He, he won't hurt you. He's out. Just push him a little further over here. You leave him alone. Oh, they, they talk some more in whispered voices, hard for you to understand, as they move away for a moment, seemingly to a bunch of crates over here. The right guard giving the left guard a spear. A rather long spear. Like a meter long spear really likely meant to poke through prison gates or prison uh, cell bars rather as they both move back then the guard on the right frowning again even deeper than before as he Just moves a little to further moves towards you but as he does so the guard on the left actually seems to do something as the guard on the right Goes all cross-eyed and then lands on the floor, unmoving. What? What? We have an ally. Got on the left, changes his stance slightly from the inexperienced helper of a guard to someone with a rather smug smile on him as he just puts the spear on the floor, takes a step forward, crouches down to be somewhat on your eye level, although not quite. Smiles at you just for a moment. As he then goes, Well then, that didn't go entirely as planned, but this will do. Hello, little ones. I take Which it you're rather confused. Suspiciously at the guard. Yes, of course you would be. Well, good thing that your trust is not required, little ones. I will explain myself rather Quickly, I think. To the point. I think that is what you want. I mean, we do have a bit of time. We should not be discovered too soon. I mean, Giles over there, as he points to the, to the door to the north, will probably take another 
two or three hours to train his hounds over there. And I think Dawn is another five or six away, so plenty of time. Here's the deal. You see, as you might have guessed at this point, I'm not entirely, well, Pylee's minion, to put it that way. I'm working for an entirely different employer, and as it stands, said employer wants or rather does not want Piley to have access to resources such as, well, you four pretties here. Which is the task I've been given to, well, remove you from his clutches as it were. Of course the obvious option would be to just, you know, kill you, destroy the bodies. But as it stands, that would both be messy and it would be very difficult to actually explain how that happened and so have my, you know, infiltration position here. So I suggest something entirely different, something that you might very much agree with. He smiles. In short, I will just let you out. And if you escape, then, well, that's my task done. Pilot doesn't have you anymore, and you are happy too. Doesn't that sound great? Till Riker rolls off his side. Good, I have your attention at least. It does seem like the drug has finally started to fade. It is really a shame that said drug could not be produced anymore because one of the primary ingredients suddenly spoiled overnight. I wonder who could have caused that. But as it stands right now, Piley has left a couple of days ago to go buy more of that stuff. I think he went down south to Corvosa, but that doesn't matter. What matters right now is that he's not here and will probably not hear of any potential escape for at least another couple of days. Because as it stands, the inhabitants of this place would really not like to get on his bad side. Fine. Then open the cages and we will be gone. Oh, I will, but one thing after another. I mean... The worst thing that could come from this particular en uh, engagement is that you try to escape and then you get just get captured again. Which, I mean, first of all, it would put me at risk because, well, I would like to keep infiltrating Piley. And if you got captured again, they are going to do things to you, question you, ask how you got out and all that. So that is the first thing we need to make sure that everything points to, well, an escape and not an assisted breakout. That said, I mean, I am going to let you out, but there's one more, well, not a catch really, but you see, my employer has agreed with my approach to this, letting you out, that is, but she does want to meet with you eventually. I think that's fair. She wants to see what you're like and all that, what she's getting herself into by well, unleashing you upon the world, as it were. To capture us again, perhaps? Uh, not quite. If she had wanted to capture you, I would not be here to let you out. I would do something entirely different. I mean, as it stands, if I open those cage doors, you are free and I'm standing right in front of you. Which is not ideal now, is it? Let me just explain my plan here, and maybe you, well, won't quite trust me because, well, I have to trust you, but the opposite is not entirely required. As it stands, I just want to extend my employer's invitation to you, and what you do with that is entirely up to you. If you do want to meet her, well, in seven days' time, be at One Tree Hill, which, well, that doesn't really tell you much. It is a rather easy-to-spot terrain feature about 35 miles north from here. It is a single hill with a tree on top. If you do want to meet her, there will be someone there to lead you to her. On the other hand, if you don't, if you just want to go off into the wilderness and find out how difficult it is to actually escape a wizard, then that is entirely up to you, of course. I have implied that my employer is able to help you in that regard, yes, have I? I'm not entirely sure if the drug has indeed entirely worn off, so I like to things like to make things obvious here. Jiraxa snaps his jaws. It is understood, human. Now let Good. us out. 
Good. Well, you see, here's how my plan is going to go. I will open those cage doors. One of you will have to, well, to put it bluntly, chow down on his or her lock to make sure that it at least looks kind of like it was one of you who escaped. And then my colleague here has to kick the bucket, as it were. Teraxus looks at him gladly. I'll take the bullet. Well, I'll, I'll do it. And I would also suggest, or I would also think that you are rather hungry at this particular time. I would like to suggest that you do not sate your hunger and my colleague here. Because, well, the two of us need to have at least somewhat similar wounds, as it were. I'm not going to leave here. I'm going to be unconscious in a corner somewhere. Probably claw marks all over me. It is not something I look forward to. But as far as I can tell, that is the best way to actually seem like, oh, the dragons escaped and attacked me. What a shame. Now, I do want to make sure that I will not be too bad off after that. So let me just apologize for the things I had to do in the past. It did seem like my infiltration went slightly too well, actually, and Piley got a liking to me, so he had me do all the... Yeah, well, you can imagine what I'm referring to. But wounds will heal over time and all that. That goes for the two of us, or for both of us, at least. And on top of that, let me give you a little bribe here, shall I? As he pulls out a vial of liquid. That seems almost peculiar. Peculiar. That seems almost potion like. Oh. As he then says, this is a potion that will take care of, well, wounds. Oddly appropriate it is. It is a shame that I will not get to use it myself. At least not until I'm found, after which I will probably, well, get taken care of by a medic of some sort. But I will just leave this here for you. All right? As he puts the potion on the floor in front of him. Texas nods. Now then, uh, one last question that might be kind of important. How do you plan on getting out of here? Well, if you are interested in actually letting us escape, you would of course point out the way to the exit. Oh, that is, that is a good way to ask for my advice without actually asking for my advice. I like it. Good job. Do well, first sorts. of all, <laughs> first of all, as you might be able to tell, you are in a basement. There is the ramp over there that leads to the first floor. He points into this direction over here. And to the north over there is, well, a dead end. A, a storeroom that used to be a storeroom. Now it's... Uh, used by a man that everyone just calls the Beastmaster. He is rather arrogant sort. I can't stand those people. And he will approximately train his dogs there for another two hours, after which he is going to inevitably leave the dead end and see that you've escaped. He is probably your timer in this case. You could, of course, pay him a visit and just make sure that he never really exit that room. That would be preferable, of course, if you think you're up to that. He would also be the person who would lead any, but any, well, uh, any chase after you, after if you've, well, inevitably escaped. So if you feel like you could take him, it is certainly something worth considering. On the first floor, you will find, well, the kitchen, the barracks, and the front door. I would suggest not going through the front door because, well, well, none of the guards in this place will expect an escape. They are certainly expecting an attack because that's what they are paid to do. And the front gate is usually something that is guarded, and it is, in fact. The barracks is indeed inhabited, but at this time of day, it is, well, just past midnight for your information. All of them are probably in rather deep sleep. The kitchen, I'm not entirely sure if it's currently, if there's a cook there or something. One last important piece of information might be the upper floors. As I've said, the guards here are certainly paid to expect an attack, but they wouldn't expect someone already being in here. And with Piley gone, the discipline is rather, well, 
non-existent. So guards that don't get paid to do a specific thing, just they don't do anything else. That's what I'm saying. So likely the upper floors are practically unguarded. And despite you not looking like the sword-wielding kind of creatures, there might be something in the armory upstairs that you could use anyways. And there's of course the wizard's own private bedroom that might have the odd thing or two that you can use. Or you could get just some whatever preemptive revenge on his stuff or something. Whatever floats your boat as it is. Other than that, um, I'm probably forgetting some things as it is. I'm currently very vividly imagining what you're going to have to do to me in a moment, but... Oh, right. Hunger it was, wasn't it? I mean, there's both a stable and an adjacent chicken coop, so if you want to pay that a visit... Yes! <laughs> Charge! Those are, however, outside, and you would have to go through the front gate. On the other hand, it points to the little way down south here, to going to the east. There's a small kitchen that way, and I think it has a chute where those chickens just get thrown down for easy transport. Said chute is usually meant for chickens to go down, but who knows, maybe dragons go, can go up through it as well. That said, I would advise against trying to just beeline it out of here as, well, as good as it may sound. The front gate is indeed quite guarded. Probably the only place in this place that really is guarded th at this point. And it might not go for too well for you if you tried. Hmm. I would suggest that you, well, look around a bit, see whatever advantage you can find, and then run for it. Kill the Beastmaster, rob the armory and the house. Have a snack, and then chicken shoot. Sounds like a plan to me, Rakayax. I mean, I'm not sure why you would go through the chicken shoot after having a snack, because that implies you were already in the chicken coop, and that also implies that you're taking the chicken shoot down here again, but sure, your plan is sound. I like it. I do not necessarily need to have a snack of chicken. That is entirely up to you. Oh, it is out, and we will fulfill our part of the bargain. <laughs> yes, we will. We will make sure you are most unconscious. <laughs> to write us nods. Yeah, yes, excellent. By the way, I have... I don't think I've introduced myself yet. What? Oh, where are my manners? I need to at least tell you my name after... Before you, well... Start mauling me, so... You really don't. He ignores you completely. I would love to hear it. He, he bows deeply and says, Well then, my name is Vincent. Glad to meet you. As he steps forward and unlocks Telraxus's cage. All right. Hi, Telraxus. Oh, oh my. <laughs> he then puts the keys in front of you, takes a step back, and kind of spreads his arms to the side, accepting whatever comes. Kind of looks at the keys, tries to reach them. Yeah, Tilraxos yeah. uh, picks the the keys, uh, picks them up with his uh, tail, flings them over to a kayaks. As he eyes the guard up and down, sort of fumbly grab them with his claws, sort of fumble, fumble around with them. The keys sort of warping slightly as he touches them. He frowns heavily, pushes them onto the white. <laughs> <laughs> the white still not saying anything to you. Well, Nimbly pick up, pick them up with his claws and begin to undo the lock. A little help here. Perhaps. Oh, and one last thing. I, you seem to be already on the right track, but I would suggest that, well, once you get out of here, that you don't split up in all the four directions and all that. Piley will chase you. I believe we have a meeting with someone in seven days. Exactly. Good. This Good. Just now. Me out. Could you just get on with it, please? I am savoring the moment, really. <laughs> you have more uh, any more acid in that gullet. Just sniff me out. Ah. <laughs> ah, free. I got stretches. Yeah, to Raxos. 
like jaws, his his little jaws wide with filled with sharp the teeth. Other guard. Now then, as he uh, you know gets ready, you know he shifts his shoulders and then he launches into the guard. All right, no, make me in the tech roll. We're, we're flanking, you know. All right, I'll take it. I mean, he is certainly intentionally flat-footed. Intentional platform, I'll take that too. You you can't miss him because he's not trying ah. to do anything. Now, Vincent, bite down. We will remember your bravery. That, that is certainly enough to slash, have slash, slash. fall over. He's an awful nauseous. And as far as you're able to tell, the wounds are quite authentic. Now, let's see if we can finish the other one. Lovely. The like just snaps his jaws around the throat of the other guard and rips it out. That is certainly enough. Kyx will use his tail to grab the potion of healing. And then look around to the I others. I actually picked that up. Okay. Do you want it? No, no. I was just looking to give it to someone. Um, does does the guard has have like a a um, like a belt or like a pouch or something I can put the potion in? Uh, they certainly have pouches that that's, aren't quite made funny. for your particular well creature type really but you can make something uh, Terexus will put the you know t take take uh, whatever he has in his pouch that's crap put in the potion and then tie the pouch around his like four limb you know like a like a bandana almost M make it make a fanny pack no <laughs> Terexus will not have a fanny pack also at the at the sounds of of combat and stuff the ape-like creatures here the baboons have certainly woken up and while they are oh, still they groggy, they are probably about to make some yeah. ruckus at least. Tyraxus looks at them. They seem to be agitated. Should we hurry north and take care of our uh, presumed uh, hunter? Also, I yes. need to reveal things because that's not automatic. Yeah. Uh, Tyraxus walks up to the white and says, Hello. I am, we have not heard you, you speak your name. If you missed it, I am Tilraxos. Liz, if you look you up and down for a moment. Avalnix. Pleasure meeting you, Avalnix. Are you with us in this? You haven't said anything. Pause this for a moment. Escape from here is the f most important thing, so... Agreed. Then we have a... Uh, a problem to take care of up there. He points north. From the north you still hear the sounds of someone shouting a frustrated command. Don't and then the to... snap of a whip. You, you see when the whip cracks that Tilraxo is like... Zzz, shudders visibly and then he peeks into the room. You suddenly see a person standing there with said whip. And he's using it both to, well, whip the air as well as to whip something that you can't quite see. Tyraxus looks at the others, see if they're ready. I don't know where he and, is. And then he will, he will point like straight ahead. And then he will very, very slowly creak open the door. The doors are rather sturdy and large. You don't quite think that you can open them without making any noise whatsoever. Yeah, but but you could certainly try, but that would require a check. Yeah, sure. What kind of trick? Uh, I would say dexterity or stealth. I'll go with the stealth check. That's a natural 20. You know, that's certainly enough to open the doors <laughs> enough for you to go through there comfortably without making any noise whatsoever. It does seem that none of these people have noticed you quite yet, but if you make any more moves you will have to make another self-check. Okay. It does seem like this kind of person here is shouting commands at the two dogs and trying to make them do something. Probably attack those dummies over there, but the dogs are just whining and kind of growling at him. Mm -hmm. And I'm assuming you want to initiate combat, otherwise the I'm... people here might notice you if I... you... Just stand there. Uh, is it? Does it seem like the beastmaster is like walking towards the dogs, or like getting in this type of area? Maybe he is looking this way, but he is certainly not in the process of walking over there. Okay. Well, okay. Is gonna Stop. try to creep up. Okay. Make a stealth check. 
Sure. The room is brightly lit, but none of the things here are currently looking towards your kind of direction. 18. Uh, let's make perception checks, yeah. It's I should have Post checks. <coughs> yes. See if any of them notice you. As you move over there, first of all, one of the dogs turns around, sniffs towards you, and as he spots you, starts barking, as well as the Beastmaster himself spots you immediately and shouts, What? The beast escaped? Not on my watch. Get in back into your cages, you. And we'll go to initiative. Oh. You do not Abon. have the surprise round. Avon doesn't know what he says, but he, he thinks it means time to kill. Inavox gets, gets to act first. I'll just cone them, you know? We don't see the initiative of the... Uh... Yes, that is always wrong. Uh, there we go. Oh. Uh, let's see, where can I stand where I can cone them? I wish I could. 20 foot? 20, 20, yeah. yeah I think it's, I time, can... it's time to breathe on these fuckers. I think I can stand here, right? And hit... yeah. No, one more. <laughs> also, just as a general thing, do try to keep the turns as short as possible. Generally, the rule of thumb I'm, what I want to go for is 30 seconds to decide what to do, another 30 seconds to actually do it. Well, okay. I am gonna comb them. That is reflex safe. I do believe you have a macro for that. Yes, excellent. I do. Uh, looks like the Beastmaster skillfully dodges out of the way and only takes one point of acid damage, singeing his probably way too expensive but also functional clothing. The dog, on the other hand, takes the full two damage. What a baboon! Oh, the the baboon is apparently doing yeah. that. <laughs> you know, we'll keep it that way. Rush IX. Uh, sure. Your DM for this fight is the baboon. We'll move over here and, uh, and prepare himself to bite at whoever comes close to him. All right. Uh, Volix. Mm. Uh, Volix will die. Whoa, wait, no, undo. There. there. No, Volix is basically just going to leap out forward, wings extended. And it's just going to bite. All right, you bite the dog. That is way more than the dog can handle. He flops to the ground with one last painful squeak. The Vornix char, as he dashes, dashes forward, biting into the side of the dog and then throwing its corpse to the side. Uh, let's see, that was... Enjoying the taste of blood. Food. Giles look, looks at the down dog and just shouts, Dogs! I mean, dog! Attack! And then he will... Uh, I think he will just prepare an attack on approach. The dog over here... I mean, he hasn't listened to any commands so far, but these beasts really do look quite scary. So this dog will, cha will charge a Vulnix. What is the beast master armed with a whip? It, he is armed with a whip, yes. And he seems rather skilled at actually using it to inflict actual damage, as seen That's... by some wounds on the dogs. Oh, it has reach. Oh yeah, the whip has... Uh, my oh, mistake. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, I should have said that, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it, it's my mistake. He just sent their paralyzed at this confusing situation. The dog completely misses. Also, that baboon is confusing me now. <laughs> All right. Till Rexus. Um, mm, I am going to delay until after the assistant. All righty. The assistant has a similar, similarly confused face as Giles, but he will go do things and team up with the dog to attack Avonix. With his long sword, as he will attack and miss. Uh, then it's your turn. Beasts, you say? I will show you. Pathetic human. Teractus walks up, opens his jaws wide, and shoots lightning. 
That uh, I would very much say that that this would also hit Avonix. I can draw it like that, but um, yeah, okay, let's let's go with that. Sure. Okay. Uh, Alright, lightning! Unlimited power! That is that a is good the full, damage roll. Full six damage on the lightning breath. Alrighty, let's have them make some saves. Safe. Reflex. Don't they, fucking damn it! They, they all, all make it, and they all only take three points of damage. Jesus! Whoa! Look at those reflex saves! And then it's Inox. A uh, five foot step. And attack uh, the Mastiff. Go for it. Yeah. Uh, there. It's just. Let me get used to that. Uh, those are two hits. And, well, the first hit is enough to finish off the dog who dies with a squeak. My, I can't hit anything else because I five foot okay. step. And it is Rachaix's turn. Uh, sure. There's no reason not to focus on one person. I'll move over here and uh, bite at the man. Going for the ankles. Okay, that is just enough to hit him. Three points of damage. Ah, well, next. Very well, Avonix is going to just unleash a full volley of everything at this man. Full Tiraxus. volley of everything, go. Tiraxus hisses and draconic. He is... He, he is unbalanced. Get him! Excellent. Uh, two hits. He certainly looks rather disappointed with the situation, to say the least, but he's still standing. And now it's the Beastmaster's turn, who skipped the turn because... Who knows why? Yeah, to but he, twiddle his mustache. He will whip Avilnix because he looks dangerous. And fumble terribly. Five or seven away. Wonderful. The dog is dead. The assistant. Um, Surrender, and you may be spared. He does indeed drop his weapon. He is out of the fight. Terexus. Uh, kills him. Good. He is out of the fight. Uh, is one bite enough? Can I get a move action to get up to the Beastmaster? Anything is enough at this point. He has surrendered, so he has basically made himself helpless. He's, okay, he gives a slight grin. He rips his, uh, his throat out. And then he walks up to the Beastmaster, leering at him. Beasts, you said! Get back into your cage, you! Oh, what a curious little man you are! What a curious little creature indeed. <laughs> I know box. Just charge him. Sure, just get him. <laughs> but noxious bite! No, I'm not bleeding yet. You're at what? That's your poison. Oh yeah, I'm my poison. Yeah, the what? noxious bite is always active. Wait, didn't you have an acid breath too? I did, but uh, it just uh, charged now. No, no, but <laughs> I mean, you have a lot of draconic weapons. No, Which, no she, has, she has racial poison. Yeah, so reach out on that. But that bite is definitely a miss. Mm. Can I get a lightning breath as a racial trait? Because I missed it in that case. No, not a breath. You can get poison, but not a breath. No. Bite. Also, Tina, I think your AC might be wrong. It looks rather strange. I, I, I charged. Oh, you charged. Yeah, no, I, I did the same thing like last time we did this, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. yeah. You bite him and you suddenly hit his ankles. Yeah. Ripping into his probably rather expensive Surrender. pants. Surrender. Nobody has to know that you yes. let us leave. But he's using a whip, right? Yes. Fascinating. Really dash pa after Axos. And bite forward at the Beastmaster with two of his jaws. Uh, that is just enough. Rip off more pants. I will never let beasts escape on my watch. Go back to your cage and I'll give you some 
biscuits or something. We will, we will. Just don't. Don't, don't hurt us. Go, Go back. back. He takes a five foot step back and attacks Rachaix. 22. Whoa. That is six damage. That is lethal damage. Who does he hit? That was against Rachaix. Ow! Jesus. Let's see if I can actually get around him. Because I can't get a full attack now, but maybe I can flank him. I can. No. I can't get any flanks at the moment, but. No, but I can flank him, like so. Yep, he's not being flanked. No, no, he's not, but I can set up a flank. True. Uh, Tilraxus looks at him. I have seen people like you before. I hate people like you. Any bites? That is certainly it, but he is still standing, although you know, on one leg, basically, because the other one is now without pant legs. Hmm. You control things with intimidation and lashes, but when that fails, what do you have? Nothing! He seems to actually consider your words. <laughs> Those are all hits, and Ooh. you may describe as, as the Beastmaster falls. Uh, Einavax uh, basically jumps his uh, legs and then crawls up his uh, clothes and just no starts biting his throat out enjoying every bite he falls down his facial expression clearly well telegraphing you that this was not how this was supposed to go Teraxus looks down at him with utter disdain in his eyes and then he looks over to Rakaiax are you all right Rakaiax sort of uh, looks at him a sly smile as he will as he will sort of twirl up around so sort of his himself really twirling his tail around himself and says i am quite all right as he will sort of let his claw run across the wound he has suffered and uh nice. the wound will sort of close the flesh begin to warp and twist as the blood shines and all of the uh the wound just closes together Tilraxus blinks says what wondrous powers! Your we all certainly... are unique, it seems. Your spell certainly works, although you are painfully aware of the fact that you probably haven't eaten in multiple days. Yep. Tyrexus... So we'll go and dig into a good dog leg. Tyrexus, uh rips off the fa like he he digs into the beastmaster like there is a fury going on over here at like. Him like almost like s small shrieks of joy as he like rips into the man. As as Inavox bites that one, I can't move over to the next one as the I imagine like noxious mm. noxious acid and saliva. Uh, it basically looks like a begins dragon. to to dissolve the uh, the dog. Yeah. Sort of basically looks, looks, at, looks at the looks at the white one, gives him a slight <laughs> smile as he begins to eat the other half of of that one. <laughs> She she basically has saliva coming from her her mouth like a Komodo red dragon when she eats. So how much time do you want to spend feasting here on these two? I know it will take like half an hour to be. No, we're not gonna take half I an hour. I kind of imagine we just take a big chunk and just swallow it. Yeah, we just I a minute. To be full. A minute or two, just to gobble down. But but we are not at fine dining, Rakaiax. We need to move. There's no time. He said that this man would take two hours, and that would be our limit, if any. Mm. Munch, munch, crunch, munch. We might need to go and, like, knock the other guys out again. Do they have anything useful on them? Keep? Uh, the guard does have uh, a long sword, a long bow, some arrows, and a chain shirt. The Beastmaster has a whip and a similar armor and a small shield, but none of that you would really guess is useful to any of you. In the back of the room, however, there is a stack of crates which contains things that might be more your size, 
such as chains, whips, collars, harnesses, including a weird-looking leather barding that seems to be made for dogs that perhaps with some craftsmanships, craftsmanships, that's a hard word, with some adjustments made by sharp claws could be made to fit you, although not well. No. Okay, it pokes it, looking at it with glee as it begins to twist and break, snapping in pieces. And he then removes his claw and it reassembles itself. Crawls up in the box and looks, watches that. Yeah, what, what, it sits, what, sits in a box. What's, what's in there? On top of the box, not in the box. <laughs> we should leave that. These yes. swords and other things of metal do, do not help us. Did you put on the the leather? What? No, I don't. Dog Broke armor. it and then left and then repaired itself. I don't wear armor. A dragon. Do you like to start moving out? We move. Oops. Oh, and it will glide down from the top of the box pile. There we go. Walks past this guy. Give him an extra twack with a with a tail. Gotcha. Does the lizard seem to be asleep still? Whoa. The, the lizard seems to be sleeping through every noise you make. The baboons, however, let me let me do the thing here. The baboons are making noises. Teraxus looks in this area. Right. Look at that lizard! We should it open is, the cage. It is a very big lizard. Peeks around the corner. You I can do so if you move here. Sleeping. Might give whoever comes in here next a surprise. Although those two guards might not appreciate it. No. The area where Terexus currently is seems to be just a makeshift kitchen with a small fire or at least the remains of one. There, There is not actually a devil statue on top of the fire. There are some sacks of, well, stuff two tables, but they seem to have not been used in at least some days. At the end here, uh, can you see this? No, you can't. At the end here is indeed a vertical tunnel that seems to end here. There are some bloody scratches and feathered remains on the side that seem to indicate that it was used to just throw down chickens. And yes, there's a bag of turnips. Yay! Tyraxus looks up the, the chute. Uh, does it seem difficult to climb? Uh, you would guess that it's not entirely impossible. It would certainly be difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, one second, I have to close the door. I just remember green dragons actually don't... Well, they can eat anything. They can throw and eat turnips over there. <laughs> it said that the green dra baby dragons that are really hungry uh, eat trees. Oh. I do not think we should try to climb this. He looks around. I, I Unless the rest of you are very confident in your climbing. If we can get to the roof, there will be windows that we can crawl out and then glide from there. I yes, can't. a good plan. The wizard's room is probably at top of the building. We can glide from there, perhaps. Do you guys see anything here? No, no. it's completely black. Okay. So that's why we're staying out of the like obvious line of sight. Oh. I just need to press the button because I don't trust auto reveal. Mm. Very well. That was a very blind end we walked into. Yes, yes, yes. Hello. That was kind of weird. I want to open the lizard's cage. Somewhat. Why? It's a yeah. gift for yeah. those who come to look for us. Wouldn't it eat our uh, friend over there? What's in the box? Yes, perhaps. The boxes, there are, among other things, spears, a, a single broken wooden shield, and other, well, some would call it equipment, others would call it refuse. It seems to be stored here and just forgotten. Paraxos, even with what he said, how would you know we could trust him? <laughs> so like this like, creeps closer like a hunting cat looking at him. It would be sad for our friend to um, uh, to die to the lizard, but perhaps we can protect him somewhat, don't you think? Gonna put yes. him in the cage? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so we stuff him in the cage. 
<laughs> All right, which cage would, would you like? The, the most nasty that one. one. The nastiest one, yeah. The one who has been here the longest, who's that? Better uh, than me. Be, yep. The white, so the white one. ones. Yep, stuff it into the white one. <laughs> lock it. I've been here the longest and I never introduced myself once. I'll lock it. <laughs> Tim Rack just giggles to himself. <laughs> <laughs> now we should uh, open the other one and then make our way out. It will sleep for now, I think. Excellent. What yes. Is it if it's like the baboons are making so much, the monkeys are making so much noise that it's a baboon. And so says, I'm sure it is something. Creep closer with the key. Click. Okay. Make me a stealth or dexterity check. What? To oh, not I, I, wake I, I, I the lizards. Wouldn't be that close. Okay, get ready to run like a motherfucker. She wouldn't I be that close. Like a boss. I mean, like he is just completely <laughs> out still. Hey! <laughs> wow, yeah! Leaves the door <laughs> open a little bit. And then what, role, what role was that? I'd say, uh, that's a 20. Uh, that's a 20. <gasps> You're very good at sneaking. <laughs> Thank you. I thought it was broken. Before you, you see a sort of, well, would, would be a checkpoint that you can close and lock, but that has been conveniently left open. There's also a big ramp that you would assume goes to the next level because that's what ramps usually do.